Recent reports suggest that Mike Perez will face Manuel Char in March. Now I thought I'd better cover this because I've recently done videos on both of these heavyweights and seemingly I might have handed out some incorrect um, news on, on both of the videos actually so I thought I'd better uh, correct it. The first thing is I did a video last week on Manuel Char. Uh, not last week, it was only a day or two ago really. Uh, specifically focused on how his career has developed and his new move to Freddie Roach. It appears that he is either training with Freddie Roach or with Floyd Mayweather Sr. at the Mayweather Gym. There seems to be conflicting reports and I've googled it and, uh, and both sort of camps seem to uh, be working with Char. So I don't know quite what's going on there. He's scheduled to fight Mike Perez. I did a video the other day where I suggested I thought it was likely Perez would fight Povetkin uh, in a WBC Eliminator fight. Um, but these reports say that it's nearly done that Perez will fight um, Char in March and Povetkin will face the same card, uh, fight on the same card, possibly look to fight someone a bit taller than him, the likes of Ustinov, the likes of Marius Wok, etc. in sort of preparation for understanding how to deal with a Klitschko-like opponent where he came up sort before. So the main event looks like it could be Mike Perez versus Manuel Char, two guys who uh, both had losses in 2014 and are looking for a, a big year ahead. As I said in my initial two videos, Perez is someone I'll rate very, very highly. I mean, he's got all the skills, and if he can change his lifestyle around and become dedicated to the sport and work on his fitness and stamina... I think he's potentially got the tools to go to the top of the sport. Uh, Manuel Char, I gave quite a different view actually. I said that for me he was quite a cumbersome heavyweight, not overly dynamic. He'd lost both times he stepped up in class. And I really, really did wonder what was left for Manuel Char, how he was going to find a route back towards the top, having been uh, you know, KO'd recently by Povetkin. Well, it appears that he's got a route made for him and Obviously, if Mike Char can be, uh, if Manuel Char can beat Mike Perez, he remains a relevant force in the heavyweight division. As for how I see this fight going, I actually predicted Mike Perez could get the better of Povetkin. I said that his skill skills and his boxing technique could, you know, outscore Povetkin in the early rounds. From my side, I would view Mike Perez versus Manuel Char as quite a one-sided fight. I think Perez is. A very, very tough guy. I don't really see uh, a guy with Man like Manuel Char knocking him out. I think Perez is too iron-chinned and too strong. And I think Perez certainly has the effort, uh, has the sort of, the edge in terms of skill set, uh, pedigree, attributes, capability, etc. So I'd probably be inclined to go an easy night for Mike Perez with a wide unanimous decision. Let's see if this fight gets confirmed. I think perez Povetkin is by far the more interesting uh, match up, but potentially Povetkin versus Wok, Povetkin versus Ustinov, uh, whilst you probably favour Povetkin in both of those fights they're, they're both watchable fights as well so, uh, you know, it's the same that it doesn't look like Povetkin Prez is going to happen but on the silver lining, two respectable heavyweight fights let me know your thoughts, thanks for watching